Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. This is Rob. Today's video is what's in your box. So today's part is going to be for you K-Series Honda guys. We're going to go over the K-Tune shifter box. Now this is for all RSX and all Civic Integra. This will fit for the RSX and all Civic and Integra with a K-Series swap. Now they do have a different style shifter which is the no-cut shifter and I'm going to do a video on that one coming up pretty soon but today we're going over the actual shifter box which is like the RSX plastic OEM box. So if you're interested in seeing the two side by side, the standard and the pro version, stay tuned. Bam! Here they are guys. This is the K-Tune shifter box for the K-Series swap and the stock RSX. This is not for the B&D series guys. This is totally different. I've done the other shifters for the B&D series on, on the other ones. I can link them up here or actually down below in, in the description. But I want to do one for you K-Series and RSX guys because we did get a few comments that were asking about this. I did make a video in the past going over each one but I thought I'd put one and make one today for you guys that are showing it you know side by side and we can go over the, the slight differences uh, that they made. So let's check it out. So as you can see both of them are made from full billet aluminum all machined parts and I believe K-Tune makes these all in-house so you can say that they all are all made in North America which is really cool now right off the bat because I actually haven't seen these two like side by side like this before making this video so this is kind of um, you know new to me also but what I've noticed is the mounting holes on the on the base plates are identical pretty much the housing for the shifter balls seem to be identical and the cable brackets and also the shift mechanism seem to be the same. Everything starts changing once you get from here on up on the standard in the Pro. So even the, it looks like the diameter of the shifter pole on this one seems a little bit chunkier and what, when we get up here is where a lot of things change. So let's just start at the bottom and then we'll work our way up and then we'll get to what these changes here are all about. So as you can see, they give you two different mounting types for the holes. Now this will fit pretty much any uh, stock RSX or case to reswap using the also the billet shifter plate on the bottom if you get the extension. Uh, this inner one is if you want to mount it <coughs> directly to the <coughs> sorry the shifter tunnels. You might have to drill a hole up in the front where the shift uh, plastic stuff is at. I'm sorry, shave it down a little bit and then drill the holes right here. Uh, but that's if you want to run it directly on the tunnel. And they do offer that for you on both versions. And then now again, once we get to the actual housing, you can see that they both pretty much look identically the same. And they're both branded with K-tuned on the side. And I do want to mention also that when you do get these out of the box, um, they, they do have a rough finish. So it's not going to be have like a nice polished finish, maybe like you would expect. Um, they do this because a lot of people actually hand polish them. Or, yeah, I mean, you would you can machine these big parts, but hand polish all these small parts and make it actually really shiny. Some people like the actual raw finish. So I believe that's why they, um, you know, do that is just keep them raw for you. So let's turn it around a little bit just so you can see the shifter mechanism where the law of the small pieces are put together. And what they did is they put a nice tight spring in there to help reduce any of the sloppiness. I mean, I'm, I'm pushing pretty hard and there's nothing moving on there at all. I mean, I'm, see it's lifting up before it's moving the top right here. So they put a nice, nice stiff spring in both, in both kits. This one's the same thing. It's gonna lift up before that's even going to move. So it's super tight. I mean that's, there you go, just kind of show you how it's going to move. But yeah, the quality on them are is really nice guys, I mean K-Tune, this is pretty much what put them on the map was this was this shifter because it was so innovative and intuitive uh, with people driving and they kind of listened to what uh, you know professional drivers were saying and also you guys on the street and they kind of implemented all these things. So this is the shifter that's kind of a base. Uh, I don't want to say it's like a staple if, if you're actually doing a K-Series swap this is kind of a, one of the mandatory things that you're going to end up buying that besides unless you really want to use a stock plastic one which I don't really recommend so now that you can see kind of the, the whole bottom part is essentially the same on both the standard and the pro series uh, right up here where we get into the elbows is where they start changing a little bit so on the standard series you can see you can adjust the cable throw a little bit through these three different settings right here 
and then they also have an Allen bolt on top. Now, what this Allen bolt on top is for, if you take it out, okay, if you take it out, I had to put it down right there. Um, it comes with this piece, and as you can see, if it focuses, there's kind of a metal prong that's sticking out that's machined out of this kind of washer that's gonna go up in here. Now what they did this for, if I can get a picture of it nice, is you can turn the handle to line up with these holes, okay? So it, say for instance if you want it, uh, so this is front way, so if you want it kind of towards you a little bit, and see how it's turned, you would put this in here with the, with the, um, you know, the pokey part sticking out and you would put it into that hole you gotta make sure it's gotta make sure it's super lined up so you can see it's in there and it's turned a little bit and then they give you a little lock washer and you would put it in there and I'm not gonna tighten it down all the way but you pretty much have it in like that and it could be angled and then you could do your shifting and it and it won't move so you can see from the top how it's kind of angled a little bit and then you can put it you can put it back straight you can turn it backwards I mean you can do all types of stuff I don't know if you can turn it backwards but you can turn it pretty pretty far right and pretty far left so that's that's the standard series and that's how they they brought it to market now through the years they got some different comments and suggestions and what they did is they found maybe turning this wasn't uh, being you know utilized as much a lot of people do do it, but they found that a lot of people just like it straight, especially on hard shifting. So for drag race and you road race guys, they did an upgraded elbow that obviously you can see is way beefier, um, but they did it in a fixed position on the shaft. So you can see that it's flat and these Allen bolts are going to screw into that flat position. So it would go right there and it, and it won't turn anymore. But what this did is it reinforced this whole section. So if you're running um, a dog box transmission, for instance, if, if you're drag racing, you know you really have to beat through those gears. And this one can definitely take it. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure this can handle it too, but this just kind of reassures the idea of shifting really hard and not having to worry about anything breaking. It does have the three different selections for the cable also utilized in there. And then again, you can utilize the height of your knob with all these different settings by adjusting these three Allen screws. And that's pretty much the main differences for the tops of the shifters. So essentially, again, guys, it's all the same on the bottom of what you're paying for and the differences are, are the elbows up top right here and the, uh, I guess, the <clears throat> type of options that they offer for each one. So that's it today, guys. I hope you enjoyed that one. It was kind of cool going over these side by side because I hadn't really seen them like that in person, side by side for, you know, I don't know if ever, maybe a long, long time ago when I was doing the videos. But besides that, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We always love you new guys subscribing. We have a lot more videos to come. Hit the comment section. Let me know what you guys are thinking. And all, as always, smash that thumbs up button. This is Rob. Remember to always live your dream. I'm out. Bye.